Hello and thank you for joining me for my March empties. Welcome, welcome. I have a lot of trash to show you. Uh, this is just the start. It actually extends over here and comes down here. And there's some declutters on the other side of the table, but we'll get to those in another video. So we're going to start here to the left with uh, candles. So first off, we have the Everspring Winter Citrus and Pine 100% Soy Wax Candle from Target. This was a seasonal Everspring and the only Everspring candle I've gotten. And I don't plan to get any more of these. I had a couple others with the same collection, um, but I won't buy any more after that because um, they just don't have very much scent to them. So I would not recommend that. But um, I do love the Trader Joe's candles. This is the Honey Crisp Apple candle. Um, and a lot of these Trader Joe's ones I have are from like the last two years. Um, so I'm trying to use up some of my older ones before I get more. Um, but this one still smells really, really good. And I will absolutely get that again in the future. Um, they tend to not have those available all the time. So usually there'll just be one available at any given time. Um, this Mrs. Meyers Clean Day Soy Candle uh, and a tin is in the pe peony scent. Um, and I'm pretty sure that this was a, um, like a free gift with purchase, uh, with a Grove order. Um, this smells good. I did burn it very quickly because it's a pretty small candle. It's 2.9 ounces. Um, but I did like this one. And I would get that scent again. This scent I absolutely love. This is the, uh, Frostbeard Studio Book Lovers Soy Candle. Uh, in the scent reading at the cafe, which smells like coffee and chocolate pastry. So it is magical. This is also a really small candle. Um, I think I have a bigger one, hopefully, because I love this one. Okay, that's also a completely soy candle. And then back here, we just have some Mrs. Meyers Clean Day Soaps. So this one was a Christmas scent. This one's Orange Clove. This one is Eucalyptus. I really like this one quite a bit. And then this is one of their regular scents, Geranium. I would say of those three, the Eucalyptus is my favorite. The Orange Clove is also pretty nice. Geranium is good. Uh, it's just not like a favorite. But all of those, um, I love the Mrs. Meyer soaps. I love the seasonal scents. I really wish they would do them in the bigger uh, refill sizes because the seasonal scents you can only get in the um, small packages and I just go so through soap so quickly that um, it would be nice if you could get those in the refill sizes. But also I feel like they do dry my hands out. So at some point, um, if I ever get through my major backlog of soap, cause I have like a ton of soap saved up, <laughs> um, I should try to find things that aren't so harsh on my hands because uh, like most soap is pretty harsh on my hands. They're just very sensitive and I wash my hands too much, truly. Um, so this is just a little conditioner sample that I used up. It was fine. Um, it's called Rusk Pure Mix, and the scent is Native Fig, and it's a replenishing conditioner. It was just okay. I regularly use conditioner samples, and I just use them on my ends. This was um, a CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. Wonderful. Fantastic. Love the pump bottle. Um, this was a iHerb like the Iyer brand um, is ideal love. It's like one of the Iyer brands. It's called Eureka for Sika, and this is a sheet mask that I did not see any uh, added fragrances in, so I really liked um, being able to find an Iyer brand one, um, but I just would probably buy other brands over uh, this one. I absolutely love the Aveeno. This is the Repairing Sika hand mask and foot mask with prebiotic oat and shea butter. I have insanely sensitive skin and it has been very, very dry lately. So I really liked uh, using those, um, but they do end up being kind of expensive on a per use. So I really need to just do like, um, you know, kind of a DIY like hand and foot mask um, just because my skin gets so dry. Uh, then we come to, I had this one Lush. This was just like a very old Karma ba uh, bubble bar and I don't think you can even get those right now. <laughs> So that's quite old. I'm um, glad I used that up. This was the snow, J snow Cake Shower Jelly Stack. I've always loved the snow cake scent. But this is the first experience I've had with a shower jelly. And it is absolutely going to be my last. Um, because under no circumstances do I need to shower with uh, a product that is the consistency of Jello. 
it is weird and I don't like it. I just found it very inconvenient personally. Um, this is my absolute fave, uh, the Beekman 1802 Fragrance Free uh, Pure Goat Milk Hand Salve. Love this stuff. This is the third, uh, the third tub that I finished. This one came in a Christmas present from my mom, um, but I, I have already repurchased this because I love it. These are the Primera Facial Cotton um, Miracle Seed. This is um, the uh, toner pads that come with the essence, um, but I believe they've reformulated the essence. Actually, the essence is right here. So I did finish them around the same time, but I didn't really use them together ever. Um, and the essence is the Miracle Seed Essence with Lotus Seed Extract, so it's mostly Lotus. Um, but this has, I believe, been reformulated, and it doesn't come with the facial cottons anymore. So um, I don't know that I would go out of my way to get this product again. It was pretty expensive, but also you can't actually get this formula, and you can't get the facial cottons anymore. Um, my number one uh, Holy Grail shampoo, uh, mostly the only shampoo I use, although I have been uh, testing on a new one lately the first time in years because um, usually I only use this. So this is the Morocco Method CS and Shampoo. I have gone through so many of these I could not tell you. Uh, this is just a Grove Lavender and Thyme Gel Dish Soap Refill. Um, and I don't even know, <laughs> like is it boring to put my laundry detergent in here? That was just the up and up free and clear. Um, I have to use free and clear. Uh, even the Tide free and clear bothers my skin. But the up and up, up one seems to be okay. The all one's okay. There's like a few that I know are all right. This was from FabFitFun um, from the recent box. And I'm going to call it a FabFitFail. It broke immediately. So don't, don't like that one so much. My favorite, this is the only antiperspirant that I've used. Um, the All May Sensitive Skin. This is very cheap too, which I like. Um, this is a repurchase. This is the Skin Kit Fix uh, Barrier Ultra Boost 360 Eye Cream. I like this one a lot, but it is very expensive. I got this, I think it was on BoxyCharm for around $10. Um, so I will absolutely get this in, in the future in that kind of a context, but I would not get it for full price because full price, I think it's over $40. Um, this was a sample that came with a Kosas order, and it's the Youth to the People Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser. I hate that this whole sample was in glass because I was constantly worried that it was going to fall in my shower, um, but it smells so good. And I honestly, just from like reviews I've seen, I thought it wasn't going to work with my super dry skin, but it actually was pretty comfortable. So I did quite like this, um, but it's not really for my skin type and... I have a built a million cleansers, so it's not like something I would be like looking for. Um, this was a little sample. I think this was an Ulta gift at one point last year. Uh, it's the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. Apparently this is a huge deal and I just didn't realize it, but I used this. It was fine. It did. It, it says it doesn't have any added ingredients, so I think some of the extracts in it had a little bit of a scent. It smelled almost like a faint lemon scent to me. Um, I didn't notice any irritation, but I also didn't notice anything like that would make me go out and buy a serum that was well over a hundred dollars. Um, that's just not something I'm going to do. And I have a lot of serums. I have a lot of, uh, Korean serums that are just, um, significantly cheaper. So that's usually what I stick to. Uh, this is the Crave Oatsa Simple Water Cream. I really wanted to like this. I didn't dislike it, but it just didn't give me enough hydration um, or moisturization for my dry skin. Um, I have one more of these to go through, and I will use it, but then I don't see me buying this one again. I'm going to turn over here. <laughs> Um, okay, so I've got two of these. I think one of them was David's. The This is our favorite, the Biosance Squalene Omega uh, Repair Hand Cream. And I think I used one and David used one. I think this was his. And I will say I've been using it on my face and I love it. It's almost identical um, to their face cream, um, but significantly cheaper. So their face cream, I want to say, is uh, around $60 for 1.7 ounces. And the hand cream is $16 for 2.5 ounces. So I, whenever these go on sale, I buy a ton of them because they're amazing. 
Uh, this is the Pirito Centella Unscented Toner. I quite liked this. It feels real nice and hydrating going on. Um, so this is one, not that I need another toner for a while because I have several to go through, but I would get this one again in the future. This was a Pacifica Coconut Milk Cream to Foam Face Wash. Um, it has the scent of coconut and vanilla and bubbles. Um, I've always liked this. I've always liked these Pacifica uh, cleansers. This one's very comfortable. Um, it's good for dry skin. It still, re it still helps with makeup removal. So um, I'm a big fan of these and um, it's one of the things that I feel like I can still get from Pacifica because I'm not going to worry about it um, being too much for my sensitive skin.